Cardoso uh, from Creative Electron. And today's teardown, um, you know, in anticipation of the Apple Watch, since we don't have the Apple Watch yet, we're going to take a look at the Jawbone Up uh, 24 wristband. Uh, which is a lifestyle tracking uh, wristband that's very, very popular. You can track your sleep, your how many steps you take, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is the uh, UP24 uh, uh, band, and it's X-ray. And as you can see, it's a fairly um, complicated uh, electronic packaging here where the um, uh, company, you know, Jawbone, they wrapped a flexible circuit around this carbon steel uh, a band that it makes it very flexible and it in in at the same time uh, very robust. Uh, this is how the wristband looks around your wrist. So that's your hand and how your wristband is there. And um, uh, here's a side view uh, of the band, and we're going to go over each one of the major components, uh, and then we're going to give you detail how they look like. So we're starting here uh, on the bottom. We have the push button with the um, status lights that are two LEDs here uh, with uh, different indications on the status of the band. We have the 3.5 millimeter uh, audio plug that is used for you know, charging and uh, overall interface to the auto jack on your phone. Uh, the carbon fuel, uh, steel spring in the X-ray shows us this dark uh, envelope here around the band. The uh, flex uh, Memory is the first one that shows up here on the left, followed by the battery charger. The 3x accelerometer is what tracks uh, your motion. is located right here, right uh, uh, close to the vibration motor. The microprocessor is uh, closest here to the battery, which is the, as you know, you should expect, the biggest uh, part here inside this uh, this band. And then, as I said, the vibration motor is connected. It's really close to the 3D 3-axis uh, accelerometer. Uh, starting with the um, status lights, uh, here's the push button uh, right on the edge uh, of the band. Uh, and uh, these are the two LEDs, uh, the first and the second LEDs that are right on the edge of the, right at the tip of the, uh, of the band. Uh, this is the serial flash memory, uh, followed by the microprocessor. As you can see, the microprocessor is a... Uh, um, um, micro a ball grid array uh, device. Uh, you can see the water bones there of the device. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the crystal that to generate the clock and the power connections into this uh, little board here that holds the microprocessor. Uh, the battery, it's a lithium polyamide battery. You can see the layers of the battery here on the x-ray. Uh, these are the um, electrodes uh, that connect to the battery and then the wires that interface to the battery charger. The vibration motor, which you know is uh, the means that this uh, uh, up wristband interfaces to the user using vibration, uh, is a very large uh, um, circular vibration motor. You can see the main axis here and uh, the off-axis device that provides the way to move and you know shake the the, the wristband. Uh, this is the battery charger. You can see the heavy wires that interface directly. You can, the end of these wires are in the, uh, you know, go to the three and a half millimeter um, audio plug. And um, this is the accelerometer, the three axis accelerometer. This is actually the device right here. And there's the battery connections uh, to, the, uh, to, the, to this board and signal connections happen using the flexible circuit. And finally, this is the three and a half millimeter audio plug and those four wire connections that we mentioned earlier. You can see it's, uh, they use the uh, plus, the ground, uh, and the, uh, for both left and, and um, uh, left and right channels, and also the microphone connection to fully integrate this device to your cell phone. Play what you want.